Hey everyone, short video from me today. The other day I was opening up my Rukia so I could flash a VF firmware onto it, and what I found shocked me. I always knew I wasn't that great at soldering in 2019, but my other keyboards weren't this bad. I'm so sorry to Jax for what I did to this keyboard. The first thing you'll see is all of the little splatters of flux all over the PCB. It makes the PCB look like a giant mess. All of the flux left on the joints doesn't make this soldering job look great either. For this keyboard, I used this budget Weller soldering station and it worked fine, you just gotta learn how to work around its limitations. All of the little flux splatter on the PCB was probably because I had the iron way too hot. This Weller station has no temperature readings, just numbers, so I had no idea what to set it to. I probably had it set to around 4 to 5 when between 3 or 4 would have worked. But really the biggest sin of all are all these terrible, terrible soldering joints. I mean, look at how round this one is, and that one, and that one. Alright, let's get to work to fix this. I'm going to desolder this keyboard with the Engineer SSO2 Solder Sucker. I used to have one of those cheap plastic ones, but trust me, this one is worth it. It makes small desoldering jobs a lot easier. As for the soldering iron, I've upgraded to the TS100 a few months ago. It's more than double the cost of the budget welder soldering station, but it makes soldering much more enjoyable. It heats up really fast and stays at that temperature. Alright, now that all of these soldering joints are fixed, let's clean up the PCB. All you need is some rubbing alcohol, 90% or more, and a toothbrush from the goodie bag that your dentist gives you. Look at how much cleaner this PCB is. The keyboard worked just fine before, but if you're going to spend a bunch of money on a custom keyboard, it feels shameful to have such a terribly soldered PCB. I did miss a couple of round boys, but this was good enough for me. I'll fix those if this keyboard ever leaves my hands. That's it for me today. Please like the video if you found it interesting, and subscribe to stay updated on my future content. Until next time.